This video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an affiliate marketing blog that you can operate in 10 to 20 minutes a day using AI. And the best part is you can eventually build this up to a five to $10,000 per month asset. Now I'm fully aware this is a super long video, but I promise you if you are a beginner and you're watching this video and you watch till the end and follow along, by the end of this video, you will have a website all set up and running. You'll have your blog running. You'll know exactly what content and what articles you're gonna put out for the next six months to a year. You'll know exactly how you're going to put those out with 10 to 15 minutes a day of, of work and time. And you'll have a monetization strategy in place so you can start making money as soon as traffic starts coming into your blog from Google. And just to prove that what I'm about to show you actually works and is really pretty insane, I'm gonna show you on the screen right here, this is a 90 day window of traffic to my own personal blog. And you can see right here, I started about 30 days ago implementing exactly what we're gonna be showing you. And you can see right here, I just started to shoot up for keywords that I was ranking for. Just a huge, massive spike in the last like 15 days or so as soon as Google started to see these articles. And then same thing with organic traffic to the most ever. And all of this started once I started doing exactly what I'm about to teach you. So let's dive in and make this happen. Step one to create any blog is you're going to need two things. You're going to need a host and you're going to need a domain. Now all the hosting account is, is it's a place on the internet where all of your information and all your articles and stuff can live so that people can access them anytime. And then all a domain is, is it's your website. For example, my domain is billentrepreneur.com. So there's a lot of different hosts out there and I spent a lot of time going through different ones and I've really settled on the best for beginners being a host called Hostinger. So I'm gonna leave a link down below so that you can get started with Hostinger. And there's a lot of reasons that I love them. They're very beginner friendly, they're very budget friendly. And third, they're also very helpful if you get stuck or have problems, they can hop on, they've got really good support. So you're gonna get to a website like this. They may be running a different promotion, but you're gonna click get started or claim deal or whatever the, the big thing is for the month. And you can see right here that that's gonna give you three different plan options. You're totally fine going on the $2.99 a month one. The most popular one's got a few things that'll speed up your site, it'll make your life a little bit easier, but if that's too much for your budget, no problem you can totally do everything we're gonna show you and still get traffic from Google and everything on this $2.99 a month one. Now it's worth noting these prices are if you commit to using it for a couple of years. So we'll, we'll click the add to cart here and I'll actually show you what the what the real pricing is when you pay up front. As you can see right here, it can, be, it can be $16 a month if you want the option to cancel after the first month. What I would do is probably do that 12 month one, but again, this is all up to you. You can do this however you want to get started. I'm gonna click on 12 months because that's $4.99 a month and you get a free domain with it. That means it's about 50 bucks for me to get started with a year of hosting where my website can be online. Right here where it says have a coupon code, you're gonna type in the word Spencer. And when you click apply, it's gonna drop the price another 10% from whatever it currently is. Once you've made the purchase, you're gonna to have to create a password because they're gonna create an entire hosting or account for you. Now it's gonna have kind of a walkthrough option or just a take me to my dashboard and let me go from there. You're gonna to wanna to just go to the dashboard. I'm gonna show you everything you need to do from here. So once you do skip, you're gonna to want to create a new website. We're gonna select that and it's gonna give you two different options. Now again, I'm showing you everything on this tutorial so we're gonna click skip. I wanna start from scratch and then we're gonna start claiming our free domain. Again, if you choose the any of those plans that I was talking about, you'll get a free domain, which is a free website name. Now this is the fun part where you start to get creative. Maybe you've already got one in mind, but you'll find oftentimes the one you have in mind is already taken. So we're gonna play the little game where we start typing in a bunch of different things until we find something we like. Now I would recommend .com if I could, .co if I couldn't get .com. I wouldn't go too far into kind of some of the funnier websites. You'll find they don't get clicked nearly as often. All right, and after tinkering with it for about five minutes, you can see that I found the domain, this blog runs on AI.com. We are gonna run with that. Now, once more, you're gonna fill out all of your registration and contact details. One piece of advice right here is you're probably not gonna wanna fill it out perfectly with your home phone number and your home address and your regular email address that you use for everything because you'll find that you're going to get spam mail, spam emails, um, some spam phone calls and stuff because this is all public information unless you pay to hide it. But you will wanna make sure that you put in some kind of email address that's real because they are going to verify your email address. So uh, maybe if you've got an extra one that you use for contests or giveaways or something like that, I would use that email address. And once your site's set up, it's gonna give you an option to go look at your website, which isn't going to be great because there's nothing on your website yet. Instead, we're gonna click here and manage our site or go to the control panel. Now, this is one of those things that I found has just been easier in hosting here, and we're going to install what's called WordPress. Now, you can just think of, of WordPress as a CMS or as like a general structure of your website where it's like the DNA of your site, and then you'll get to go in and specify everything that you want, you know, what your menu looks like and your logo and all that. But WordPress just basically tells all the websites out there that you have a menu and you have a logo. So we're gonna go right here to auto installer and you can see right there, it's got a couple things we can install. We're gonna auto install WordPress. Now you're gonna pick a website title. I'm just gonna pick my main domain name and then you'll pick an email. You'll definitely wanna make sure you have access to this email. This is the email you'll log into your website with. And then you'll play the waiting game again. So if I were you, I would just keep pausing as we play this waiting game. If you're following along, you can just click pause and wait for it to finish on your screen and then resume. Now your site will be set up and the next step is to actually go in and from now on, you probably won't be dealing with hosting 
finger ever. So it, it'll be kind of hosting your information and stuff like that, but you'll actually be editing and creating your website and uploading blog posts and all that fun stuff directly inside of WordPress. So we're gonna click edit website right here. And then you'll see right here, it's my domain, and then it's gonna say WordPress admin, and it's automatically gonna log in. Now your login information that you just created is going to log you in to this from now on. So whenever you want to log into the back end of your website to edit it and do all this fun stuff, you're going to go to yourwebsite.com slash WP admin. Now it may look confusing, it may not. 90% of what you see here, we're not going to be using. So first thing we're gonna do, is I'm gonna to go to plugins, and I actually just go and I delete all of these plugins right here because we're going to be putting in the ones that I think work best for what we're doing right here. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna select right here. I'm gonna select deactivate because we have to deactivate before we can delete. Once it's deactivated them, then I'm going to click delete right here and delete those plugins. Now's where things get fun and we're gonna create our actual website. Now for this tutorial, I'm assuming that most of us are beginners and for that purpose, I'm gonna to try to only use free stuff. Okay, so there's gonna be paid and free options that I use a lot on my website, but since we're beginners, we obviously don't wanna put in a ton of money in the beginning. So in that spirit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right up here to appearance and you can see that's just on your left right there and it's got these different themes now a theme is just kind of a general structure of your site right what color do you want your your main colors to be what do you want your logo to be how many different pages do you want in your menu things like that so we're going to go to add new right here and we're going to type in astra or you'll probably see it right there because it's one of the most common it's really one of the best ones out there so we're going to click install right here and it's going to install for us you'll see that oftentimes wordpress does a lot of stuff for us so we'll install it and then we'll click activate right there and it's going to activate this theme Astra, which is gonna give us a lot of access to our site. And once we've installed Astra, we're gonna start messing with all the settings of our site. So this is where you get to kind of customize what you've got. So again, we're gonna to go to appearance right here, and we're gonna to go to customize. And there's gonna be a bunch of different things that we're gonna customize that you may do a little differently than me, but I'll show you where to do it all. First thing we wanna do is go change our homepage settings. Essentially, we're telling Astra here that we are having a blog. We don't need a website with a homepage and services and pricing and reviews, all that fun stuff. This is just a blog designed to make money. So we're gonna click right here on these homepage settings and then we're going to go right here where it says your homepage displays and we're going to click on your latest posts and you're going to see it's going to pull up something that looks probably a little familiar because this is what a lot of blogs look like then you're going to click publish right here now you're probably noticing that you've got this menu with all these things that you really don't offer so the next thing we've got to edit is our menu we're going to go to menu right here we're going to go to primary and you can see it's going to have all of these different pages we're going to select each one of these and we're going to remove each one of them one at a time and i'm actually going to remove the home page as well because they can always just click our logo right right here, which we're gonna show you how to create a logo in about 10 seconds. So we're gonna remove that as well. And then once again, we'll click publish. So I'm gonna leave a link down below. This is going to take you to Canva. Now you can't do what I'm showing you here in the free plan, but what you can do is sign up for the paid plan. And you can see right here, they actually have a free trial. So you'll sign up for the paid plan. You can do everything I show you in the trial version. And if you don't really wanna stick with Canva, you can cancel before you ever pay any money. So once you're all signed up, you're gonna see a dashboard that looks like this. You'll probably have less templates and stuff because you haven't been using it like I have. But we're gonna go right here and we're actually gonna type in logo and we're gonna click enter right there. Now once you type in logo, it's gonna give you a ton of different logo templates. I could literally scroll forever and they're just all these different logos that you can go in and start editing. So you're gonna find one that you like and you're just gonna tweak it a little bit to match your personal website. Now if you're struggling to find one you like, you can always type in kind of the category or the subject of your website at the top. So for example, since mine's kind of all about AI, I could type in AI logo right there and it'll actually give me logos that have uh, AI kind of somewhat in them. So you can see these are very pertinent to what I'm gonna be doing with my blog. And you can see here, even when I type in that, I've got 110,000 templates. There's plenty of options here. I'm just gonna run with this one right here for the sake of the tutorial. See, all I've gotta do is click customize this template and you could add your own text or do whatever you want. I'm just gonna delete all that and that's going to be my logo that's going to sit at the top left start uh, part of my blog. Now, if I were you and what I always do is I would actually delete the background as well. Now you can't really see it because it's uh, white, but once it shows up on that uh, blue color right there, it'll be totally fine. So next you're gonna click share. You're going to click down here and you're going to click on download. I would always select transparent background. 500 by 500 is totally fine for this and we're gonna click on download. Now to get this logo uploaded and installed on our site, we're gonna go once again to this customization tab here. We're gonna go to site identity and there's two things we're gonna do. First, we're gonna need to um, do a site icon. That's what shows up at the top. And then we're gonna wanna upload our logo. Uh, now, full disclosure, in the meantime, I switched out logos because that one was all white and it's just really hard for me to see. So I wouldn't recommend going with an all white logo in the future. Um, but I'm gonna click upload and I'm gonna go with the other logo that I found, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna upload that one. Now you can see here, it's gonna ask me to crop it. You don't have to worry about cropping for this part and it may not let you crop because of the size of it. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to site title and logo and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna change out that logo for this one. We're gonna click select, 
Once again, it's gonna ask us to crop it. I would crop it as close to your logo as you can, as such, and then you're gonna see it's probably going to be huge once I install it, and it is. You can see the top of our site is ginormous. No worries, as we scroll down right here, you can see we can change the size of the logo, and that will automatically change the size of where it's fitting, and so I'm gonna to go to something that looks a little more fitting, kind of like this right here, I think. So that's a decent logo, depending on what you're going with, right? It doesn't really matter for the sake of a blog and a brand like that, but we're gonna run with that. And once again, we'll click Publish. Now you'll see that using this back button right here, you can always get back to this page where we run all the customization settings for the site. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of just choose a general color scheme, typography, fonts that you like, all that fun stuff. So you're gonna to go to Global right here, and you can see there's a bunch of different things you can play with. You can say, you know, these are the fonts that I like. Make sure that it's something readable. This is a blog. The entire idea of it is readable. Also, don't spend forever searching for this because it's not super important, but I'm gonna go with something like that. That looks like a good general font that, uh, that that's readable and easy to see. You can also go right here to colors and you can set up kind of your, your general color palette. So right here, it's got kind of like the order of colors. These are different colors it's going to use. The main color being color one. That's the only one I'd really mess with right now, maybe color two. I'm gonna go in here. I kind of like black. So you can see it's gonna automatically change my header to black and that's gonna be kind of be my primary color, the, the main color of your blog. And you can then add like a good accent color, something that you think goes well with that main color. But I'm pretty happy running with kind of a black and white and, and gold look right here. So I think I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna drag this over to like right here maybe and run with something that kind of looks a little goldish. I mean, that's not quite goldish, but we get the gist. And once again, we'll click publish. Now you can go, you can get as extensive as you want here. You can see here, you can change the color of your links, the color of your accents on the website, the site background, lots of things that you can change right here if you want to. Obviously we're showing you how to set up a blog and get going. None of that is going to help you make money, which is the core idea behind this video. Going back one step, you can see there's all kinds of things that you can mess with here, including customization on buttons and things like that. All we're gonna mess with right here is container. We're gonna essentially make this readable. So you can see right here, this is the layout of the blog. Uh, it's got really wide with kind of some stuff on the side. Uh, you can see just different ones. I always run with right here, the narrow width or the full width contain. We're gonna click narrow width right here. And you can see it's much narrower. Now what that does is when someone's reading on a computer, it just makes it easier for them not to have to go all the way across the screen with their eyes. They can they can easily go to the next line without losing their place. I've just found it's easier for readability. So you can leave the rest of these settings as they are. We're gonna go back one more time. We're gonna go back one more time. And then we're gonna go to blog right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set what we want our blog post to look like. So you can see right here on a single blog post, it once again, has a layout. Now the layout that I find works best for my blog post and for the way that we're going to be monetizing our blog is once again, we can do the full width contained or we can do the narrow width. I'm gonna run with the narrow width again, just like that. And once again, we're gonna click publish. Now at this point, you should have a good looking template for your blog. Essentially, it's almost ready for you to start uploading content. And in fact, if we go right here, we remove all this stuff after the blogs.com, we can actually see kind of what we're looking at. It's a pretty basic generalized blog. And what's gonna happen is this front page right here is automatically going to update with all the posts as you go. So each new post will show up on this front page. So two more things we need to do. First, we need to establish who's the writer on this blog. So back in our WP admin dashboard right here, you can see right here on the left, we're gonna go once again, but this time we're gonna click on users and this is you, right? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna establish who it, you want it to display as the writer. It doesn't have to be you, but you'll put in a first First name, a last name, a nickname, a display name. And then you're gonna scroll down like this. You can upload a picture, you don't have to. But what you really wanna check here is display name publicly as. So this is what your posts are going to be written by, right? This is the author that it's going to say they're written by. So we're gonna click on that and we're all good to go. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click update profile. Now maybe it's time to pause, take a breath, get excited because it's almost time to start writing the actual blog posts that are going to bring in the traffic that's going to make us the money. So let's go here real quick. All we need to do now is establish categories. There's going to be a bunch bunch of subcategories. So for example, if my blog is about blogging, let's say, I've got this blog and I wanna have a couple of subcategories. So I'm gonna go up to here to post and I'm gonna type in categories and we're gonna tell our blog what categories we're going to be writing about. So one category of blogging might be monetizing, which is essentially taking a blog and uh, using it to make money, right? I'm gonna click add new category right there. Then I'm gonna go down here again and I'm gonna do it for a couple more categories. And you can see right here, I added a couple categories, hiring, reviews, like product reviews, ranking, which is showing up on Google, and monetizing. And those are the categories that I'm gonna run with. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is add those categories to the top so we don't have such an ugly menu at the top. So we're gonna go here to appearance, we're gonna to go to menus once again, and you can see right here that we can select categories and we've got view all, all the categories. And I'm just gonna select all these categories right here and I'm gonna add them to my menu. 
Da -da. Now watch what happens when I click save menu right here. I can go back to my website and look, we've got this nice looking blog with all the categories that we're going to be writing about and the posts are gonna show up in each of their respective pages as we post the content. Now let's pause for a second. You're still watching. Hopefully you followed along. You now have a full blog set up and running. All you need to start doing is putting content on your blog. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. You can let me know down below if there's questions. I promise I will always answer your questions. And this might be a good time to ask for a like if you're following along. Hopefully you've received some value at this point and there's a button down below that you can show that value by clicking like. The next step is content creation and essentially we're going to start by finding as many ideas as we can to write articles about. We all know that when we go to Google something there's only one, two, maybe three people that are going to have their website show up in the top few spots of Google. We need to find opportunities that are easy for us to get our website to show up in one of those spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a software called Ahrefs and I'll leave a link down below to that as well. Full disclosure, uh, Ahrefs doesn't have a free trial. You are going to have to pay for one month, but I've just never seen a tool that does it as well as Ahrefs does. So we're going to use it for just one month. You're going to be able to get all the research for the next six months to a year worth of content and articles that you're going to put on your blog. And then you can go ahead and cancel if you're not getting value anymore. So once inside of Ahrefs, we're going to go to Keyword Explorer right here. And we're going to do some really unique, cool things that a lot of people don't do. And that's how we're going to find these, these opportunities that a lot of marketers and a lot of blogs are not going for. So you're going to type in kind of your core keyword right here. So let's say my core keyword was making money. That's what my main blog is about. A lot of different ways to make money. I'll even type in make money. That's probably faster. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a bunch of charts, a bunch of confusing things. And we're going to go right here to matching terms. Now, if you do matching terms and you only come up with 10, 20, 30 ideas, then you can go ahead and move on to related terms as well and do the exact same process over again. But we're going to start with matching terms. Essentially, we're looking for things people are typing in into Google where they use the phrase make money somewhere in there as well. So a good example is I scroll down, make money from home, right? Make extra money. How did Andrew Tate make his money? Stuff like that. So we're gonna go like that, and now we're gonna do some sorting. Okay, we're gonna start filtering. We're gonna say, we only want the good stuff, the stuff that I have the best shot at ranking with a small blog. So first we're gonna go to KD right here. This is called keyword difficulty. If you've got a brand new blog, you're probably gonna wanna max out at 20. This is a score out of 100, and you're essentially saying, I only want the top 20% of stuff that's easy to rank for. So we'll click apply right there. Now volume, this is how many people are searching for it every month. I usually say a minimum of 50, which is pretty low, but because we're using AI to write the article, it takes so little time, so little money, so little work that we're okay ranking for something that only gets searched a couple times a day. Okay, so we'll click apply right here. Next, we're gonna go to lowest DR, and this is domain rating again. Essentially, we're saying, hey, we only want searches where there's at least one website that's ranking right now that's kind of a small website, not a big major publication like Forbes.com or something, right? We want something small because that's probably what we're gonna be knocking out. So I usually say up to about 40 in the max, and we'll say in the top 10 and click apply. And the very last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to word count and I usually say at least three words. You don't want to try to rank for something like the word money. That's very, very hard. So we'll click apply right here. I'm going to click show results and you're going to see it's going to give us tons of ideas to write about. Okay, looking here just in a few seconds, secret websites to make money, how to make money on OnlyFans, uh, how much money does Elon Musk make in a second, how to make money fast as a woman, how does GoodRx make money, how much money can you make and still get social security. These are all things that we could write about and then we'll talk about how we make money off of them down the road. We're going to go click through a bunch of these. Okay, the ones that we feel like we want to write articles about that make sense for what the, the category and the subject matter and the people that are reading our articles, where what makes sense for them. We're going to go click a bunch of them and then we're going to click add to, okay? We're going to add them to a keyword list. You're not going to have a list yet, so you're going to create a new list and then you're just going to make your main list right now. You're going to make a list and call it articles to write or something like that and you're going to add as many as you can to a list. You can see I've been adding them to this new keywords AI and there's about 65 in there right now. So once we've done this for a while, well, we can do it with matching terms, we can do it with related terms. Then you're going to go and click onto that keyword list and you're going to see you're going to have a nice green chart or you're going to have this nice nice graph of keywords that you can start working on. So now it comes time to write. And this is where things get a really, really awesome with what we're going to show you right here. Because there's there's three ways to do go about writing right now. You can hire a writer, but that's very, very expensive. You're going to spend one to $200 an article for a good article. Option two is you can write them yourself, but that's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take you two, three, four, five hours to write a good article. And depending on how good of a writer you are, it might not even be a good article. But option three, which I'm going to show you right here, can spit out dozens of articles every single day. It's very, very budget 
budget friendly and it requires almost no time from you, the person creating the article. So I'm going to leave a link down below to this software and it's called AnyWord. Okay. And you're going to click and when you sign up for AnyWord, there's going to be a couple different pricing options. I think I'm on the middle package right here. You're totally fine being on the starter package in the beginning. You get quite a bit of content still. And even better, like you can see, you actually do get a seven day free trial with AnyWord so you can kind of give it a run and see how it goes. But once you sign into AnyWord right here, you're going to go to blog wizard and it's going to start working you through. It's going to take about five minutes to work through an entire blog post. So you're going to go to each one of your articles right here, right? So my first keyword, get paid to watch Netflix. Doesn't that just sound so much better than what we're learning right here? Why are we trying to learn to blog and create content when we can just get paid to watch Netflix? Anyway, we're going to take that main keyword. We're going to head over here to the blog wizard and it's going to say, what is this going to be about? And we're going to say how to get paid to watch Netflix, right? That's the description. You can give it deeper details. So you could say, make sure to include at least you know, seven ways, which is uh, pretty standard, or you can go into more detail if you want. But we're going to uh, just do something simple like that. Usually, honestly, I'll just put in the keyword like that. It's going to say target audience, and we'll kind of ignore that. I would go with that engaging tone. If you have a blog that's maybe very professional targeting lawyers or something, you might want to change it. But engaging is usually the way to go. Then you can add your primary keyword, which is going to be get paid to watch Netflix, right? And this is what we want to rank for. We want to get rank for get paid to watch Netflix. Now it's going to ask for secondary keywords. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go click on this keyword and it's going to give you a couple other things that they might want to be sure to include in the article and uh, we can include them as we go. So as we look through here the, the, for things that might look interesting, most of these are kind of all the same, but Netflix tagger looks like something that's probably a way to get paid. So let's make sure that they include the word Netflix tagger right there. Okay. And then we can add a few more if we feel like that's relevant. So I might add uh, make money watching Netflix. You can see how those are similar, but different. We want to rank for that as well, I assume. And then the last one is make money watching movies, right? So essentially I'm taking the core phrase and kind of like changing it up, thinking about other things people might search that are the, basically the same thing, but they're typing it in differently than that right there. I'm going to click next right here and head on down to the next one. Now what's going to happen is it's actually going to give us five title options. The nice thing is if you don't like any of these options, you can always click more suggestions and keep going through. What you're really looking for is a decent title that includes that main phrase, get paid to watch Netflix, right? That's what we want to rank for. We definitely are going to want that in the title. Now I'm okay with option one right here how to turn your Netflix addiction into a side hustle, get paid to watch. I'm probably going to flip those, but that's something I can do down the road. That's a pretty good title. It includes all those keywords I'm going for. So I'm going to click next right here. Now it's going to give you an outline that you can adjust or not adjust. I almost never mess with the outline. I'll just glance at it and make sure it's all good. You can see it's going to go over why that's an option. It's going to go over um, a bunch of different methods. You can see tagging, reviews, Netflix study, freelance writer, uh, seven different options essentially, and then how to apply. Like that's a pretty good outline for an article, right? Everything someone would need to know if they're getting started with looking into this uh, option to get paid. If you feel like they're missing something, since you know the subject matter better, you can always click plus right here and add in between any of these your own section that you'd like to add. But we're pretty good at that, so we're going to go ahead and click next. And then it's time to go. Now the nice thing here is you can generate the whole blog or you can generate each one individually and you can give it a word count. This is kind of where any word stands out. A lot of these AI options don't let you pick a word count and they spit out as few words as possible, which is great for AI and great for the software, but terrible for ranking in Google typically. I usually shoot for either 2000 or 2500 words and I'm going to shoot for 2500 in here. So I'm going to click continue to editor and we're going to see the magic happen. All right, so you can see right here that it's got an intro and then it's got every single section written all out for you. You're free to read through each one if you're a perfectionist and you kind of want to make sure and you can and regenerate any of them that you feel like it didn't do a good job on. I won't really do much. The only thing I will make sure is that it did not start each of the sections with the exact same phrase. So a lot of times I'll notice it kind of generates the paragraphs individually and when it does it that way, I've noticed that it will, um, it'll start each section the exact same with like the same five or six words. And it looks like it's not doing that here. If you want to, another way to get paid. If you have a knack, if you have another, I might go through there and just tweak the first sentences and a few of them. You don't want to have the same first sentence in every single section. So I might just tweak it a little bit, but honestly, sometimes I won't. But let's have a quick look and see what we came up with. Are you an avid Netflix binger looking for ways to turn your love of streaming into a side hustle? You're in luck. We've compiled a list of seven creative ways you can actually get paid to watch Netflix. Important to note here, it's putting in that keyword because that's what we want to rank for. And it's going to liberally distribute that throughout this article. Now you can pause if you'd like and kind of read through what it came up with, but uh, it comes up with great grammar, great writing, great outlines. Everything here is exactly what I would have paid a writer to spit out. So we're going to click copy to clipboard right here. Now we're going to head back to our blog that we created that looks so nice, but it's empty. All we have is this hello world 
world post right here. We're gonna go back to our blog and you may have to log in. If not, you'll just need to get to your dashboard either by clicking up there or by re-logging in. And we're gonna go to posts right here. You can see we've got this hello world post that we're gonna wanna trash because that's what every single blog comes with. And we're gonna click on add new. Now there's a lot of different ways people do this. I'm going to try to teach the easiest way and the cheapest way where you're not gonna have to buy a bunch of softwares and stuff like that. So we're just gonna use this block editor exactly like it is. We're gonna click plus right here and we're going to insert a paragraph. Now, once the paragraph is inserted, we're going to paste everything that we just put in there and you're gonna see it's gonna throw all these sections into paragraphs and the article is in there. Now we need to take this title, we need to move it up to here and now we've got a base article right here. And in fact, if I go right here, I can click preview and we can kind of see, there it is, this is a decent looking article. It's not gonna blow anyone's mind, but it's a decent looking article. And now we can go pretty it up and actually make it look good. Step one of cleaning this up and making everything look nice is we're going to take all of these subheadings right here and make them stand out a little more, make them bigger text and stuff like that. And now, unfortunately, this is a little, not a lot, but a little bit hard. So to do that, we're gonna click into any of these and you can see that I can add a block and I'm going to add now a heading block, okay? And we're gonna go, these are H2s. It should default to H2. You can always click and change if you need to, but I'm now gonna type in the word intro, okay? And now I can remove this intro. Woo. Now I can remove this intro right here and back this up to there. Now just to show you what that's gonna end up looking like, you can see I can once again preview over here and it's just going to make this nice kind of clean looking H2. So we're gonna do that with every single one of these major sections and the easiest way to do that is go up here we're gonna click plus we're gonna go to heading right here okay and we're just gonna drag it right into the right above every spot that we want it so put the heading right there and now I'm just gonna type in again once again the rise of streaming services and I'll probably just uh, remove the last part okay so go like that and you can see I'm gonna go all the way down now and do that to all of these major sections it'll take me about a minute to do it to all seven sections now once I've gone down and done that I usually try to give myself some breathing room on my blog and what I mean by that is have you ever opened up a book or an email or something and it's just words they're just they've just pounded so many words onto a page that your brain instantly becomes overwhelmed and you don't read you immediately go back we want to avoid that because we want people to actually read our blog so what we're gonna do is we're gonna space it out a little so it's easy to read and the way we do that for me at least I just click enter after every single sentence. You can see right here, I'm gonna go in. Uh, sometimes I'll leave like two sentences like that one right there, but typically I'm just kind of going through here and spacing it all out. Um, you can just see I'm just going, I'm going. So once we've gone and done that, you can see now it's just a little more readable, a little more digestible, and people tend to stay on your blog for longer, which means you're going to be more likely to make profit. Now the last and final step is we need to add images that make sense throughout this blog post, and then we need to add a featured image. Now we can do this with AI, but there's also just a database of thousands, if not millions of free pictures out there that were free to use as well. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the easy free pictures that are already created. And if there's ever a spot where you don't like the picture that it's giving you, you can always use AI to create it and I'll show you how to do that. But we're gonna go to a site called Pixabay right here, right? And what the intro is about is making money with Netflix. So we could say something like making money and see what we come up with right here. Now I'm gonna run with this picture right here, a man watching Netflix right here. All I have to do is click on download and I can download that image. So I'm gonna use that image as what's called my feature image. And your feature image is essentially what shows up if someone shares it on Facebook or something like that. And then it's also the main picture at the top. So to do that, we're gonna add our feature image. We're gonna go all the way down to here. Okay, on the right side, we're gonna go to featured image and we're gonna set the featured image and we're gonna upload what we just downloaded from Pixabay. We'll click set featured image right here and we are good to go. And the next place I want to add it is I'm actually gonna add it right below this main uh, title right here. So I'm gonna click plus, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to click on image and I'm gonna drag it right below there just cause I always do that in my article. And once again, I already have it so I can go to my media library, just click on it and select right there. And now you can see that's kind of the main image that comes right after that. Now what I'll do is I'll probably add seven or eight other images. So typically I'll add an image before each section. I'll say the rise of streaming services and then I'll add an image right there. So right here, I'm gonna click plus and I'm gonna add an image right underneath that. Okay, and I'm gonna go do that underneath all of them. And it's really easy to get the images directly from Pixabay. So I could type in streaming service, right? And then we get a bunch of different options. I'm probably just gonna run at this nice looking Netflix one that I can once again download. So I'm gonna do this exact process seven to eight different times to the bottom of the article. Okay, that'll take you a few more minutes. And once again, you're going to click preview and make sure that everything looks kosher. And look at that. We've got this nice long 2,500 word blog post with nice images. And we've had to pay almost nothing and spend almost no time on the whole creation of this. Now the last few steps, very, very easy if you're a blogger, you can either schedule it and tell it to publish at a specific time. I usually try to put out one every single day. I like the cadence of that. I like the rhythm of that. 
but you can just have it go public right now if you'd like as well. But we're gonna schedule it for tomorrow and we're gonna kind of let that run. You can mess with any of this you like, but typically I'm just going to mess with these categories right here and I'm going to choose the category that makes the most sense. I did change what the subject of my blog was right in the middle of the tutorial. My apologies, but the closest one here is monetizing. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna kind of click off of that. Okay, and all we have left to do now is click publish and we can do a quick double check and it will be good to go. Now you head over to your site, right? So once again, I'm gonna go to this blog, runs on AI.com. And what do you know? The homepage is now showing the one blog post that we currently have up. And if I go to the category of monetizing, you can see it says you do have one blog post in the monetizing category. None of these other categories have any posts, which makes a whole lot of sense because we've only written one at this point. Now, if you've been following along with me and doing this as we go, you now have a full blog. You've got your first post up. You know exactly what you're gonna write about for the next six months. You are well on your way to making money with your blog. Take a moment to pat yourself on the back. I'll do the same. And now we can start talking about the real reason you're probably watching this and that's how do I make money? Now, since you made it this far, allow me 30 seconds to give you a brief overview of what's going to start happening, what the future is going to look like. So your blog posts are definitely not going to immediately rank. You're not gonna see one that you put out today that starts to rank tomorrow. It typically starts to take time and it's kind of a buildup effect. So instead, if you look at the history of my blog, you can see you start to slowly get traffic. You can think of this blue line as me starting to rank for stuff and starting to show up in Google and people click over to my site. And it just starts to slowly go up the more you publish and you get this nice consistent growth every single month building off of the last month. Now what you're gonna do is 30 to 60 days from now, as you start to get traffic and things start to pick up, you're gonna use Ahrefs to keep an eye on this. Now, if you don't wanna keep paying for Ahrefs, I totally understand. You can Google free ranking checker and there'll be a bunch of different ones out there that you can play with that will do what Ahrefs is doing in this particular section for free. But I'm gonna keep my Ahrefs account and hopefully your blog starts to make money so that you can start paying for this account as well. I'm gonna go to Site Explorer and I'm gonna type in the actual name of the website, okay, that we just built and we're gonna explore our own site. Now, in this case, I'm gonna use my own personal site, Buildapreneur, because we just created this site 10 seconds ago. Then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna type in organic keywords. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna to start to see stuff show up. It's gonna give you all this stuff and tell you where you're ranking. You can see this is the keyword. It's gonna tell you how much it's searched. 12,000 is a lot and it's awesome to rank for something that's searched 12,000 times. And then the position right here where you are ranking. And then it'll give you a change. As you start going forward, it'll tell you how far up or down you're going. And what you're gonna find is a lot of your articles don't show up at all. They don't rank, nothing goes, goes well with them. But one out of 10, one out of 20, you're gonna start seeing some of these articles actually start to show up in these top few positions. So any article that is showing up in the top 15 positions is something that we're gonna start revising and we're gonna start monetizing and start working with to make money on. So you'll go crazy if you're trying to mess with all your articles. All you wanna do is mess with the stuff that actually is already ranking and getting some traffic. Those are the ones we're gonna focus on monetizing. Now there's three different ways that you can monetize that we're gonna teach you right here, kind of ranging from easier to harder. And we'll start with the easiest one. It's called affiliate marketing. Now what affiliate marketing is, is essentially we're going to refer them to stuff they can buy. We have an idea here. Somebody got to this page probably by typing ways to get paid to watch Netflix, right? Which essentially tells us this is a person that's looking for easy ways to make a little bit of money on the side, a good side hustle, right? So what we're gonna to try to do is we're going to try to find products that make sense for this person to refer them to. Now, the Way affiliate marketing works is we're going to go find a product and we're going to sign up for that affiliate program. Almost every product out there has an affiliate program. For example, on Amazon, you can go to the bottom of their website, click affiliates, and you can create an affiliate account and become an affiliate for any product that sells on Amazon. Once you become an affiliate, they're going to give you a special link to the product that you're promoting that looks something like this one on the screen. Now, that link is very unique to only you. So if someone clicks that link and they purchase the product, it gets tracked and the company will actually pay you. Now, I have tutorials all over my channel for affiliate marketing that you can go watch, but that's the essence of what we're doing here. Now, to make things simple, we're gonna use a site called clickbank.com to find products that we wanna promote. And the reason we're gonna do that is Clickbank has hundreds if not thousands of products across every single category that you can promote and sell to the people that are going to your website pages. Now, I will leave a link down below to sign up for Clickbank. And once you sign up for Clickbank, we're gonna to go to the marketplace. And, and think of this as just a million different products that you can promote based on your audience. We can see right here in my particular blog post, right? There are people looking for ways to make money doing easy little tasks is kind of how we're gonna assume they are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a category or we're gonna type right here, make money, okay? I can also head to the left right here and just click into a specific category and run with that. Then you can see right here, just a few down, this seems like the most correlated to what these people are actually looking for and interested in. You can see there's a product, get paid to use Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And it's gonna tell you on average, you'll make $22 off of everyone that purchases this 
particular product through your link. So I'm gonna run with this. This is what I'm gonna promote to them. Not necessarily what I would promote to everybody or tell everybody they should sign up for, but because of what these people are looking for, this is the most correlated affiliate product that I can find for them. So I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna click promote. And like I said, it's going to give you that special link. That link right there is my link. Anybody that goes, they click that link, they purchase that product. I make a potential commission off of them. All right, and now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go and add this to the top of our blog post, okay? We know we're only doing this with posts that are already getting traffic, right? They're already showing up in Google. People are searching in Google and they're clicking and they're landing on our website. We already know that's happening. So we know this isn't a waste of time. So we're gonna make something that looks like this at the top of our website. You can see right here, it's essentially two buttons that will take them to these opportunities or these products that we're going to be promoting. And they're at the very top. So when someone gets here, they have to scroll right past these buttons. A certain number of these people sees the buttons and they pause, they click, and then they purchase. And those that aren't interested scroll right by and it's no harm or foul to them. So let's hop back into our blog post and I'll show you exactly how to edit it to add those to our, our blog posts that are ranking. First, we're gonna go back to our dashboard once again. We're gonna go look at all of our posts. And you can see we only have one right now. Let's assume that getting paid to watch Netflix is working out well. So we're gonna click on edit and we're gonna be right back inside this editor and we're gonna wanna add something right between that main image and the intro. Now you have a choice here. You can promote one, two, three, four products. I find promoting less products tends to do better. So we're gonna start with just two. I'm gonna click plus. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in column, okay? And essentially we're gonna add a column right here because we wanna have two products like we just talked about. And I'm gonna go with something like this one right here. Okay, now it might give you some variations. I'm just gonna click skip right here. Okay, and it's gonna give me two columns. Now I can click into this box. You can see that box is now broken up into two separate columns. So click in the top right of the box, make sure it shows columns up here. And then it's gonna ask you for a number. And I always say that I want four columns when I'm doing this. So you can see it's now broken into four columns. We're gonna put the buttons in this column and in this column right here. Now all we're gonna do is add text into those columns. So I'm gonna click into this column. I'm gonna click plus, And I'm gonna do a paragraph that says, simple way to earn money posting on Facebook and Twitter, okay? And I'm gonna click period right there. And then we're gonna add a button. Now the way we add a button is once again, we go to plus up here and we're going to type in the word button if we can't find it, and we're gonna drag a button right under there. And what do you know, we've got a little button. You can edit this as much as you'd like. For this tutorial, we're just gonna run with what it's giving us. So I'm gonna click into that button right here. We're gonna add text and we can say something that's a call to action. So we're gonna say like, try now, or go here, or something like that, okay? So we're gonna click on that, we're gonna type in try now, and then you're gonna click here. And now here's where we take that link. So ClickBank, you remember, gave us a link or whatever affiliate program we chose to promote. So we're gonna paste that link right there. We're gonna click enter and it's now got the link and it's working. Now one other thing to make this just look a little prettier here, as long as we're here, let's just do this. Let's put in the work. You're gonna click into this left column and then the same thing on the right column. You're gonna change the width to 15%. Just makes it look easier. So I clicked in the left, I changed it over here. Now I clicked in the right and I once again, I took that 25%, changed it to 15%. That just kind of makes it take a little bit more room. It looks a little cleaner and it looks a little better. And then we'll do the exact same thing. If we want to promote another program, we'll do it right here. Again, you can promote one here, you can promote four here. I found that two seems to be the sweet spot for me. If I didn't do two, I'd probably do one. All right, and now you can see we've created it. And when we go to click on our preview right here, now anytime someone Googles and searches get paid to watch Netflix and they end up going to our page, they land on this page, they start to read and before they get to the reading, they see two options right here. They click try now or they click yes, please. They like the product and they purchase, we get paid. And that's monetization method number one. Now for monetization method number two, I'm gonna show you an example on my website so you understand the big picture and then I'll show you again, step-by-step step, how to do this exact same thing on your site. You can see right here that if someone was Googling and they were looking for side hustle ideas, they would find my site and they would click. If they wait about three seconds, you're gonna see a pop-up occur right here. There's the pop-up. And you can see what I'm offering is I'm offering a guide, 97 best ways to make money online. It's a list, right? And then I've got an email address and I've got a name that I asked. Now, as soon as someone puts in their email address right here, I send them a free guide. All it really is is a list, okay? I have a bunch of different ways to make money online. And then I have a list of email addresses of people that we know are interested in making money online. So now I can do ClickBank offers. I can do other offers on the internet. I can be an affiliate 
for 100, 200, 500 different products. And all I have to do is whenever I need money, I can send out an email to my large list of people of email addresses that I've gathered and I can promote a product and you can make money. So an email list is by far the best way. We're showing it as number two because it's a little more complicated to set up, but it's by far the best way. You should absolutely, from the moment you start getting traffic, start capturing these email addresses because now no matter what happens, you have a list of people that you can send emails to and you can make money with those emails. Now for this to work, we're gonna need two things. Number one is we're going to need something on our website that can capture those email addresses, right? Something that we can put up there to capture the emails. Then number two, we're gonna need what's called an email autoresponder. We're gonna need somewhere where we can take these emails and we can place them and then use that software to send emails whenever we need money and want to send out emails to affiliate links or our own products. So let's start with number one. We're gonna go back to the main dashboard of our site, okay? Right here, this main dashboard of our site. And we're gonna go to plugins. All plugins are, are there little teeny bits of code that other people have created that can help enhance your site. So when we go to plugins and we go to add new right here, it's gonna take us to a ton of different plugins. I'm gonna type in the word Brave right here. And this is totally free, by the way. Everything I'm showing you here, totally free. This is called Brave. It's, we're gonna use it to create pop-ups. So I'm gonna click install now, and then I'm gonna click activate. Now the next thing we need is somewhere for these email addresses to go and for us to send the emails with. And so we're gonna use a software called ConvertKit. So I'll leave a link down below to ConvertKit and you can sign up. It's totally free, no worries. The only thing that you might get stuck on is it's gonna ask for your ConvertKit domain. You can choose anything you want right here. I just chose the business name AI Blogger and then it gave me a domain. Once you're inside of ConvertKit, I didn't even have to put in a credit card to get to where we're at right now. Obviously, eventually you will have to put in a credit card, but this is free up to a thousand subscribers, which is plenty to start making money. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our plugins right here and you should see the Brave plugin in there. So we're gonna click on campaigns right there. It's gonna open up the Brave plugin. It's gonna show up on your left now and we're gonna go to integrations. Essentially, we need to connect the two, right? Brave is on our website. It's going to collect the email addresses from the people that go to our blog posts. Now we need somewhere to put them. So we need to connect these two so Brave can take those email addresses, put them inside of ConvertKit right here, and then we can email them inside of ConvertKit. Not very complicated, I promise. If it sounds complicated right now, it won't after we finish out where we're talking about. So we're gonna go back to these integrations and you can see it's gonna make it really easy. We're gonna scroll down till we get to ConvertKit and all it needs is what's called an API key. So we're gonna go back to ConvertKit right here and ConvertKit will give us the API key and that's all we need. So head over here to the top right, we'll click on settings and you can see there's tons of different stuff and what we're looking for is advanced because we are advanced email marketers now and you can see right down here we have an API key. So we're gonna copy that API key and then we're gonna plug it right into here and click connect. And voila, integration is successful. They now are connected, they can talk to each other. Everybody that goes and puts their email address in will now end up inside of our ConvertKit account. So what we need to do now is create that really simple pop-up. Now if you remember on my blog, we offered them something for free. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how you can get that created for you for extremely cheap or create it yourself in about 10 minutes if you'd like to do go that route. Not very hard to create a very simple thing that we can give people in exchange for their email addresses. So first we wanna create this page right here, this little pop-up that pops up. So back in our Brave browser right here, we're gonna to go to all campaigns, okay? And we're gonna create a new campaign by clicking plus up here. We're gonna create a new pop-up or a new widget and we're just gonna call it main because this is probably gonna be the only one on your blog for a long time. Now you can see here, it's got tons of different templates that you can use depending on what you like. I like a good simple one like this one right here and I'm just gonna click that and click create pop-up. So for me, typically, when I'm just starting, I try to just use an ebook. It's a good value-driven offer that we can give people for free and it's easy to make like I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna stick with something like this. We're just gonna change the text right here and I would do an ebook, if I were doing this, I would do an ebook on um, creating on how to make your first 100 online, which by the way, this is a great way following this tutorial. But that might be what I kind of make my ebook as. You could also swap that out for a picture or whatever it is that you want to run with. And we could put our website right here. Again, I'm just filling out the template. Now, without doing a full tutorial on Brave, essentially you can click into any of these and change them. So text, I can double click and change the text. I can also change sizes and do whatever I want. I wouldn't spend hours messing with this. So the next step is integration, which means we need to explain what happens when someone puts in their email address in this box right here. So we're gonna click into the box. We're gonna type, act, go to action right there. And then we're gonna scroll down just a little bit and we're gonna click add user to newsletter. Now, if you've already integrated ConvertKit, then that's great. We can click right into here to see the options for adding a user into a newsletter. And you can see right here, we just click on ConvertKit. It will load up lists. It's gonna come with default lists. You're totally fine to click on either one of them because we just want them on a general list right now. Okay, and then get email from. This is 
where it's going to pull the email from. So you got it from this box that says your email address, right? We're just telling it what box has the email address in it. And then we're gonna tell it what box has the name in it. We're saying, oh, it's the one that says your name, right? We've gotta explain all this stuff. And then finally, we go up here to the settings at the top of the pop-up and we're gonna tell it where we want it to be placed. Now, for me, I just want it to be on the entire site right now, okay? And you're probably gonna want the same thing for the entire site. You can always exclude if you want to. I wouldn't exclude at this point. And then just have the trigger be time spent typically. And I usually say after uh, three seconds, give the page time to load and then load up this right here. Okay, you'll click on all devices right here. It should already be selected. And then we're just gonna run with all the default settings and we're gonna click save right here. And now we just need to activate what we just created. So we're gonna go to the top left. That's gonna take us back to this main Brave dashboard. Okay, and you can see I have a test one that I did and then I have the real one that I did. It says pause, we're gonna click resume. We now should be active. And the easiest way to test it is to open an incognito window and then type in your URL. And you can see it loaded up and within a second or two, it also loaded up the practical guide. And I can go here, type in Spencer Meekum, or I actually just asked for a first name, right? Spencer, and then I can type in my email address and we're good to go. All right, and now when I go to ConvertKit, you can see right here, um, I just go to the ConvertKit main dashboard and it says, look, today you've got a new subscriber and in the past seven days, you also have one new subscriber. You can always go right here to grow and then click subscribers and you'll be able to see your subscribers. Now you'll see at the bottom, it's got confirmed subscribers. You may not see your subs and you may have to go to unconfirmed subscribers to see unconfirmed subscribers. If that is uh, being a problem for you, all you've got to do is go to the form. So if you selected the dark form, go to that one. If you selected the light form, go to that one. So I'll go up here, I'll go to grow landing pages and forms, click whichever form you selected for the email addresses to go to. I did the dark one. You'll click into here, you'll click edit, you'll go to settings, and then you may have incentive selected, and you'll want to deselect incentives and click save. It won't require them to send an email back to you essentially after you send an email to them. So it's just gonna automatically put them on your list, which is how I typically do it. So again, an overview of where we're at. Someone types in get paid to watch Netflix on Google. They see your website, they click on it. They end up on a page that looks just like this one. Before they're able to start reading, they see this, offering them a free guide. They go in here and put in their name and their email address and ask for that free guide or ebook or whatever it is, and their email address automatically is now yours to email as long as they don't click unsubscribe from any of your emails. And from here on out, for the rest of forever, hopefully, if you send good emails, you can now send emails with affiliate links or even sell your own products to these subscribers. So the final step here is, wait, I don't actually have an ebook. I don't have anything to give them. How do I create that? That's so hard. Don't worry, we can show you that in a minute or two as well. Now you've got a couple options here. You can create your own ebook. If you wanna write your own ebook, that's totally fine. It's gonna take a lot of time. Honestly, a lot of people are probably not gonna read it, but you can go ahead and write a 10 to 15 page ebook if you're super passionate about your subject or you already have one. Here's honestly what I would go about doing. I'm gonna leave a link down below to the person that I order my ebooks from. They use a website called Fiverr and it costs anywhere from five to $15. They will create and write an ebook book. I'm sure they're using ChatGPT. That's totally fine. But you can see right here, I did the highest one they had for 15 bucks and I got this nice looking ebook with a lot of pages talking about wealth building, which is what I asked them to write about. It's all infographic up. It's a great looking ebook and written by ChatGPT. So if I were you, I would just go to Fiverr. I would order from this person or if they're no longer available, order from another person on Fiverr and get your ebook for five to 15 bucks done in a matter of seconds. And now all we're going to do is upload our ebook that we were given or we created to our website website and we'll be able to give it to people or send people there for free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages right here on the left back in our main dashboard. I'm going to click add new. I'm going to go up here. I'm not going to do anything except for type in file. And you can see right here, it's got a file option. I'm going to upload that ebook that either they gave me or I created as a PDF file. I'm going to add a quick title that says free ebook and I'm going to click publish right here. And now it's available on my website. The only way that they'll ever get there or find this particular page is if we send them there after they put in their email address. So I'll click publish right here and I'm gonna copy the URL. And you can see right here, when we send somebody to this page, this is what it's gonna look like, this free ebook. Okay, and look, it's still offering them the free ebook. And they can download it right there if they would so like. So all we've got to do now is go back 
to our initial form in Brave. We're gonna go to our plugins. We're going to click Brave. We're gonna click campaigns. We're gonna go into that campaign we just created. Okay, and we've got this pop-up and we're gonna once again click into here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to action and go to the bottom. And it says, once they succeed, where do you want them to go? And we're gonna say, thank you for your submission. You can download the link from, and it's got all this code, okay? We're gonna go right after the ahref equals quotation marks. We're gonna copy and paste that link, okay? Or not copy and paste, we're gonna copy and remove Remove that link and we're gonna put in our link right there and we're gonna click save. And that is the entire process right here. Somebody goes, they now go to our website from Google, they see that free ebook, they accept the free ebook, they get sent to that page after they put in their email address and you now have one subscriber on your email list that you can sell stuff to for the long run. And I would spend some time researching how to make money off an email list. I've got a whole playlist on my channel you can go watch that teaches you a lot of stuff, but there's a lot that you can learn and a lot that you can do to make money. Once you have someone's email address, you can do affiliate marketing, your own products, partners with other people's products, sponsorships, all kinds of things once you have that email address. And again, you're still watching. You've made it so far. You now have a monetized blog capturing email addresses. You have a free asset, which is a lead magnet that you're giving people. You've got a full business right here that's worth at least a double pat on the back. Let me show you the very last way that we're going to make money with this blog. This is affiliate marketing again, but it's going to be a little bit easier. And what it is, is it's product reviews. So let's say someone's looking to get into something like affiliate marketing, right? Or they're just looking to buy a washer or a dryer or one of the other million things that people buy. And typically we go to Google and we type in something like, what are the best dishwashers? What are the best affiliate marketing courses for someone new to affiliate marketing? Okay. So for example, someone types in one of the best affiliate marketing courses and they come to my blog. There's five best affiliate marketing courses. And you can see right here, there's this article that looks very similar to what we uh, just created. But what you can do is you can once again sign up as an affiliate for these products. So we can do Amazon products or whatever products it is that we want to promote. And we can write an article just like this using our AI writer. We can write an article that has the five best of virtually anything. And then we can add links or affiliate links to those. And what we can do is when somebody goes to this article, we can include our affiliate link. So for example, I might say the number one course is, hey, it's my own course that I sell. But that's the Affiliate Secrets course by Spencer Meekum. And then I could add a button just like we did earlier in this tutorial tutorial and I can use my affiliate link just like I did before and say you can get started with that right here and have your button once again be an affiliate link. Now the way we do this typically for me is I just go find a competitor. So I go find somebody that's a huge blog that they review like thousands of products every year and then I have a big list of products that I can start reviewing. So for example if my niche was credit cards let's say I would go up to my Ahrefs right here. I would type in Keyword Explorer and I would type in the top credit cards or the best credit cards or something like that, right? Then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the information it gives me and I'm gonna take this site. It says, okay, the top site is NerdWallet. So I'm gonna go look at NerdWallet and see if it is indeed a competitor. And guess what? NerdWallet is absolutely all about credit cards, banking, loans, money, all that fun stuff. So I say, yes, NerdWallet is a competitor. I'm gonna right click into here and I'm gonna go into organic keywords and then I'm going to remove the actual page. We just want all of NerdWallet. We want to see everything that they're ranking for. Next, I'm going to go to keyword right here and I'm going to type in best. So we want all the things that NerdWallet is ranking for that include the word best. Then we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do keyword difficulty. Again, we, we want to rank for things that are easy, right? So we're going to go up to 20 and we're going to click apply. We're going to click show results and guess what we have here? We've got a list of awesome review articles that we can start writing and include our affiliate links directly in those articles, make money directly off of those articles and the list is 45,000 keywords wrong long. Okay, so you can see right here, best business travel cards, best time to buy furniture, best way to sell a car, best Ethereum wallet. Obviously 100% of them won't apply, but best banks, we can use a affiliate link there. Best airline, that's an affiliate link. Um, best motorcycle loans, that's an affiliate link. So all of these, depending on the niche we're in, are people looking to buy stuff. And then all we have to do is have an article be written by our AI writer, and then we can go add affiliate links after we sign up for each of those programs. Just like before, we wait to see if we rank. Once we are ranking, we are getting traffic, then we worry about monetizing, adding the affiliate links, all that stuff. In the beginning, we're just pumping out content to see what sticks and what actually does well. And there you have it. If you've made it till the end, hopefully you've received some value. Hopefully you can give a small like, a comment, something like that at this point. If you're feeling lost, just take it in pieces. Go back and watch one piece at a time because first we're going to create our blog. 
Second, we're going to create content for our blog. And third, we're going to start monetizing that content once people start coming to our blog from Google. And each of those is an individual piece of this video. And finally, if you're someone that's looking to make money, go ahead and click subscribe because this is the channel for you. This is a no fluff, high detail channel on how you can build a business, become wealthy, and eventually create total financial freedom. Thank you so much for watching.